Hello everyone, here is almost getting closer to the final touches <coughs> of the mud bug. It sure looks pretty in the sun, doesn't it? Got that glitter poking out, gave it a wax job. Still need to do a cushion on here and stuff like that. <coughs> Got the new sticker. And that made up. Kind of overlapped a little bit, but that's alright. Got my thumb throttle. I had to do some adjustments. It took me a while to get it to work the way it's supposed to when you buy these. And you have to put like one of these ties in here so it doesn't keep pushing into it you know the cable with the barrel it screws up everything got my brakes and i had to change things around a bit back here i had to use that type of system off the other motor because the other um, linkages and stuff didn't work for this and you can see now how nice it works with this I just had to paint it up a little bit <coughs> yeah they come up with this other system where you hook it in over here and it's got two little things that work with the spring and they weren't actually working together the way they supposed to be I didn't want to do it this way but this is the way I had to do it then we got the, the governor I think I'm gonna put a different exhaust on here and bring it out there's uh, the brakes the cables work Kind of close to the, the disc brake there, but it seems to work all right. You know, with the Allen, two Allen wrench bolts that I tightened up on the shaft, we'll see. Um, I know it's a little close but up in here, but this is why I got these stops. So it doesn't slide. One there, and of course I got one over here. So it doesn't slide the other way. It's this regular PVC pipe that I cut in half and I put a clamp on it. I might do one in here. But there it is. It's got some cracking in here and stuff like that. But that's normal with fiberglass. I was told to get some 600-800 grit. Let's try to sand this out. It's got some white haze in here, and we'll see what happens. Tank is lined up now, and uh, this over here, I might just end up maybe keeping it like this. I mean, they used to have some rubber padding on here. Uh, might just end up finding some, say, some car floor mat and cut it and then I can actually glue it down and brand new front rim that's brand new like I said brand new sticker had to trim that up on the sides I'll have to show you my fenders there's one of the smaller fenders I had to see if I could take the rubber mallet and try to bend it out a little bit. Put this on, it's a little small. But the next big size would be way big. And uh, I got this big old one for the tri sport. Uh, sport. I still got a 
put this on the back of that, paint it up and get that looking good. And uh, that is it. Um, this will probably be the last one until I get it out and running. Um, and uh, yeah, he thanks. Uh, thanks for uh, OMB Warehouse. They're the ones that <coughs> supplied the fenders. They actually gave me a free sticker too. <laughs> but anyways, that is that is it. This is the old Tecumseh that I had to take the linkage from. And uh, so, yeah, they're kind of rare to find. And, uh, but okay, well, thanks for watching, all.